Hello everyone and welcome to the AWA channel. My name is Victoria and in this video I'm going to explain the concept of privacy in the Internet of Things with focus on wearable technology. So let's get started from a definition. Hey Siri! Uh -huh. What's the definition for the Internet of Things? Internet of Things means the interconnection via the Internet of Computing devices embedded in everyday objects enabling them to send and receive data. Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? And let me put it simply for you. Internet of Things is a system where such things as surveillance cameras, drones, alarm clocks, smart cars, smart watches, which are part of wearable tech, personal assistants, and many more are equipped with sensors connected to the network with the ability to exchange data with the server and also among each other. Now, talking about personal assistants, there is a promising idea that in future, robots will assist humans with small everyday tasks and make our life easier. Generally, we consider wearable devices important due to their proximity to the human body and types of data they collect. As wearable device stands for a smart technological device with a body placement used for the purpose of sensing, gathering, processing and analyzing the data. There are four main types of wearables – accessories, e-textiles, e-patches, and smart implants. As it is forecasted, in a few years from now we will have billions of connected devices worldwide. Therefore, this scenario can be treated as an incredible opportunity, which also brings immense risks. There are multiple challenges that IoT technology faces these days. Among them are power consumption, reliability, coverage, latency, massive connectivity, security and privacy. And if you have watched an episode of Black Mirror series, you must know that technology can also have a dark side. I mentioned security and privacy together, but I'd like to highlight the difference between those two. Security stands for the protection of the user's information from any types of malicious access, for example, preventing theft, corruption and other types of damage while allowing successfully exchange the data at the most efficient way. Meanwhile, the core of our discussion, privacy, is the right of individuals to have control of when and how their personal information is collected and processed in the IoT environment. Here is an example of location privacy. Most of the devices nowadays are equipped with GPS receivers or other sensors that allow to calculate the position of the device. However, different applications require various levels of location accuracy. So the user can decide on the granularity of location information, as well as whether to disclose the coordinates or not at all. So the information collected by IoT services can include personal health metrics like heart rate and steps taken, but also user locations, payment credentials, calendar information and contacts in the smartphone. But don't worry, privacy and digital identity are protected by the European General Data Protection Regulation. Moreover, the RFID Privacy Impact Assessment Framework provides a prototype for a risk management-based approach which is applicable for IoT cases. Information security, privacy and data protection should be addressed at the design stage. Unfortunately, in many cases they are added after the main functionality. Meanwhile, the IoT objects do not always have enough computational power to implement all the relevant security layers and functionalities. Usually, IoT devices have the following functions to preserve users' privacy. Access control and authentication, secure network protocols, cryptography, edge computing, which means computation and data storage on the local device. But if the data is transferred to the cloud, the following techniques can be applied to the crowdsourced datasets to avoid users' profiling and linkage. Among them are data anonymization and summarization, digital forgetting, and the concept of differential privacy. So the best thing that we can do right now is to educate ourselves about what is the IoT and study its potential impact on our lives. Here are the main recommendations on how users can protect privacy of all IoT devices. Use trusted connectivity, install trusted software, check privacy settings, and study the privacy policy. 
Privacy policy should detail what company is going to do with your data, and one has a right to understand what happens to the information and whether a company shares any personal data with third parties. That's all for now. I would like to say thank you to the European Union's Horizon 2020 for funding the eWare project, where we study dynamic wearable applications with privacy constraints. And thank you for watching this video. If you are interested, subscribe to our channel and we will share the knowledge with you.